Are you pregnant, lying in bed, and can't get to sleep? Well, unfortunately, that's one of the common side effects of pregnancy, difficulty in sleeping. I'm Dr. Jill from Tampa, here to tell you how to sleep in pregnancy. Well, does it matter? You've been sleeping your whole life. It actually does. Two things. In pregnancy, position makes all the difference. As your belly starts to grow, starting about anywhere from the fourth to the fifth month, belly's going to pooch out, no more lying on your belly. You want to make sure that you're either on your back or on your side. On your back is safe when it's that early. Once you hit about five months to six months, you always want to be on your side. The reason is it increases the blood flow to the baby through the placenta. If you're laying flat on your back, that big pregnant uterus is pushing on the blood vessels that bring the blood to the heart. As the heart's trying to push the blood out, it's not as good and not as much blood flow goes to the baby. So always sleep on your side after about 20 weeks. That improves baby circulation and helps mom. You also won't get dizzy. If you lay flat on your back when you're farther along, you could pass out. Same reason as before. Other problems are that your dreams become vivid. Sleep is hard because you go to bed and nightmares can occur and all of these vivid dreams start happening. No way to really prevent that, but try to go to bed at ease, maybe watch a little TV, read books, have soothing lavender. All of those things can help you get a restful night's sleep. If you're still not sleeping, you want to talk to your healthcare provider because then they can help maybe prescribe some medication, like even something as simple as Benadryl. That'll help you sleep through the night and improve your well-being. I'm Dr. Jill from Tampa, Florida, telling you how to sleep during pregnancy.